What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to find the location of mounting of seats. So without spending much time, let's start now. While driving your car or sitting in it, it's very important that you should feel comfortable and away from the vibration due to road shocks. Suspension plays an important role here. Let's see how. Here I am taking half car model. Basically in half car model, only one side of car is considered. This is your car. As you can see, the suspensions are represented by spring and damper assembly and tire is shown by the spring. Here in half car model, the damping effect of tire is neglected. MS is the sprung mass. M1 and M2 are the unsprung mass at the front and rear respectively. Black dot is showing the center of gravity, having a distance A from the front tire center and B from the rear tire center. K1 and K2 are the stiffnesses of the front and rear springs. C1 and C2 are the stiffness of the front and rear dampers. K1T and K2T are the stiffness of tire. I am going to decrease some variables here, such as I am not going to consider the unsprung mass, the damping effect, as solving all them together will be very difficult here and it can easily be solved in MATLAB. Here you can see the basic procedure and use this for getting the answers in MATLAB. Here this is your sprung mass MS. Front and rear combined stiffness for tire and suspension spring is KF and KR. Now when the vehicle encounters a bump, it can have two modes. It will bounce up and down or it will pitch about the center of gravity. Generally bounce and pitch both happens together. So here the direction of bounce is shown by Z upwards and considering that the car is pitching in clockwise sense with angle theta. Position of CG is A from the front and is B from the rear. As the car encounters the shock, the displacement of point A is given by Z1 and the displacement of point B is given by Z2. We can write from the figure that Z1 equals to Z plus A multiplied by theta and Z2 equals to Z minus B multiplied by theta. On balancing all the forces along Z direction, we can write ms into z double dot where z double dot is an acceleration in z direction plus kf into z1 plus kr into z2 equals to zero. This is our first equation. Now we can write iy where iy is the moment of inertia multiply by theta double dot. Okay, that's the angular acceleration plus kf multiply by a multiply by z1 minus kr multiply by b multiply by z2 equals to zero. This is our equation 2. I am going to substitute some values on above equation 1 and 2 for solving this equation easily. So I am considering d1 equals to kf plus kr divided by ms, d2 equals to a multiplied by kf minus b multiplied by kr whole divided by ms, d3 equals to kf into a square plus kr into b square whole divided by iy, where iy is the moment of inertia given by ms multiplied by ry square. You can see that, that the car is pitching along y-axis, so that's why we have written iy. Now, putting these values of d1, d2, d3 and iy in above equation 1 and 2, we get the following values, z double dot plus d1 multiplied by z plus d2 multiplied by theta equals to 0. This is our equation 3 and theta double dot plus d3 plus d2 into z whole divided by ry square. This is our equation 4. You can see from this equation, that z and theta are related to each other. If car bounces with some value of z, then it will also pitch with some value of theta. Basically, both are dependent on each other and these equations are called the coupled equations. Here the block is representing the car. Now, if the car is pitching and bouncing together, then it will rotate about some point C and D. It will bounce something like this with bounce z and pitch angle theta. Now you can see that the car is bouncing and pitching about C and D and these points are behaving as nodes. That is, they are free from vibration and these are the position of the seats. Let L1 and L2 are the position of seat. So from this figure you can write tan theta equals to Z divided by L1 and L1 can be written as Z by theta if theta is very small. For solving equation number 3 and 4, we are going to use the mechanical vibration concept. Now I am going to substitute equation number 5 and equation number 6 in equation 3 and 4. We get d1 minus omega n square multiplied by z a plus d2 multiplied by theta a equals to 0. This is our equation 7 and d2 divided by r y multiplied by z a plus d3 minus omega n square whole multiplied by theta a. This is our equation 8. Now I am going to find the eigenvalues of these two equations 
using determinant. So you can write the following determinant for this. We get the following values of omega n1 square and omega n2 square. From equation 7, we can write za divided by theta equals to d2 divided by omega n square minus 1. So the value of z by theta at omega n equals to omega n1 can be written as d2 divided by omega n1 square minus 1 and z by theta value at omega n equals to omega n2 can be written as d2 divided by omega n2 square minus 1. From the figure you can write l1 equals to z by theta at omega n equals to omega n1 and l2 equals to z by theta at omega n equals to omega n2. Yes, here we got the values of l1 and l2 at the following frequencies. Now you can easily find the position of your seat as it is located at a distance of L1 from the CG to the right and it is located at a distance of L2 to the left of the CG. At these nodes, there will be no oscillation. So this is the perfect position for mounting the seats. So here we got the position for seats. This much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries regarding the video, you can comment in the comment box. Do like the video. If you find the video useful, do share it. Also, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and software, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.